class of students. Uh, so we'll continue with a sunny morning, one act play. So we were discussing about Donna Laura and Don Gonzalo. These two aged uh, people who are uh, in their 70s, they have met in a park and there uh, that at present the mood is very crucial, like the mood is very bitter. The conversation is not in a friendly manner. In the beginning itself, the impression is bad. Like, uh, you know, uh, Gonzalo, he walks through the birds that Laura was feeding. So for that, Laura is already angry and uh, there is a kind of a conversation between these two. Like they are taunting each other, teasing each other. So now, um, after uh, the conversation, why is uh, Gonzalo sitting in uh, Laura's place on her bench? Because his regular bench is occupied and there are no other benches which are empty. So that without any choice, uh, Gonzalo goes to the very bench where Laura was sitting. And Laura teases him and uh, scolds him for scaling away the birds. And then, the, you know, uh, she teases him for his eyesight, uh, the way he takes out his book, the way he puts on his uh, spectacles. And moving on, uh, he says that, uh, you know, my eyesight is very sharp because I am a huntsman. I used to hunt and if you come to my room, I can show you. Uh, the head of uh, white bird. So for that again, Laura says, okay, I can also show you skin, tiger's skin in my room. What will that prove? So after uh, this uh, movement, at last, Gonzalo says, please allow me to read. So, you know, now he uh, is requesting, please allow me to read. So he opens his book. Before that, he says, First, I shall take a pinch of snuff. Snuff here, I will take a pinch of snuff. So, I will take a pinch of snuff. So, I will take a Let me take a pinch of my snuff. So, for that, they both exchange. Uh, Gonzalo gives a small pinch to Laura. They both take the snuff and they say it clears their head. So, Nashay put Yadna in group, share mark for it. And then they sneeze uh, three times alternately. And Nashay put it over my head, most of the sneeze. And then the snuff has made peace between us. So, till now, till this uh, conversation of snuff, till they exchanged snuff with each other, they were not. Friendly. Their conversation wasn't friendly at all. They didn't like each other. There was no good impression between both of them. Sadi ni mano or ekin do, or ekin mande or their friendship is with our benchmate. Kuda kuda no, ekin mande no mandra bitter tone le conversation le lita rata. Ekin mandra tease maro do. Ata na na rata. But at last, or ekin mande friendship establish a rata. Friendly conversation start a rata. Snuff. Nashar could exchange money to alter their sneeze matter at three times. So, only our Ibrahimadiya was a friendly tone start out with a friendly conversation built out with it. So, he says the snuff has made peace between us. And then Nashar could in our Ibrahimadiya was a shanty open the marks. So, he got our Ibrahimadiya yabde ashtu misunderstanding illa. So, they carry on. He says, I want to read aloud. I have the habit of reading aloud. Do you mind? Anta Gonzalo Yadiya Laura Kirtan. So Laura says, Please do read. I don't mind. You will not disturb me. So then he reads, Gonzalo reads a line from a poem. So for that, um, there are some beautiful poems in this book. Here, 20, 20 years pass, he returns. So, uh, she allows, gives permission to Gonzalo to, to read aloud. So, he starts to read. He reads few lines from the poems that in the book that he is reading. And then, he, uh, Laura says, you cannot 
imagine how it affects me to see you reading with all those glasses. So she, uh, in the previous conversation, uh, Laura teased Gonzalo for taking out his glass. What did uh, she say? She said that I thought you will take out a telescope. So uh, now she is saying, uh, you know, it affects me. I, it kind of feels, um, you know, to see you reading with all those glasses. So for that, Gonzalo says, okay, can you read without glasses? Because both of them are already aged and it is very common that they will have uh, problems with their eyesight. So uh, he says, can you read without glasses? Laura takes the book uh, from Gonzalo on the she reads aloud a poem that Jora wrote without glasses. So for that, Gonzalo says, I envy your wonderful eyesight. Envy jealous like, Ashtu wonderful eyesight is there in the end of Gonzalo shop surprise at the end. Adike Laura aside, Gonzalo go kere stay raw ya ole eight head for the end. I know every word by heart. How did she manage to read the poem without glasses? Because she knows it by heart. She knows every line of that poem. Or you already a line, a poem na prati on lines by heart agida. And then they discuss about uh, you know some poets, Spanish poets. Uh, Gonzalo says that you know uh, there are many Zorilla, Beckwer, and other. All these Spanish poets are my friends and I met Zorila in America. So like this through snuff with the help of snuff the friendly conversation begins and then uh, she reads poems and then they start to discuss about poets. Gonzalo says he has met one of the Spanish poet in America. So then their conversation builds. I was brought up there. There I spent my early youth. So Gonzalo uh, and you know, I was in Valencia. There is where I met the poet. Campomor is a poet. So Gonzalo na a poet na yen mita dilini. Valencia dali mita dilian hetan. So then he says, I was brought up there. Na nu berdi dala yeli Valencia dali. So Laura for that hit the rim. Yes, Senor. Not from Valencia. Not far from Valencia. There was a villa. It's still there. They called it, let me see, what did they call it? Marcilla. Marisela is a villa's name. So Marisela and Villa the Yari Donna Laura Idu. Adu Ali Villa Yadida. Valencia city. So, you leave one connection build up the day and then uh, Donna Laura Mate Gonzalo. Both of them are from the same city and that city is Valencia. So, now uh, they are surprised. Okay, they could know each other because they are from the same city. Uh, when uh, you know Gonzalo says, I am from Valencia, I was brought up there. Laura says that yes, I lived in a villa not far from Valencia, and that villa's name is Marcella. Marcella, Gonzalo started. He shocked to hear that villa's name. So then, Gonzalo says he is very familiar to Marcella. A villa is too much familiar, too much anagutu. Hey, Andre, if my memory serves me right. There lived in that villa the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And I assure you, I have seen many. Let me see, what was her name? Laura. Laura Laurenti. So here uh, he says, I know that villa because there lived a most beautiful woman that I have ever seen. Gonzalo and Life Lord they are a such beautiful woman that I have ever seen. I am married to that villa. I love her too. That beautiful woman. Our name is Laura Laurent. Donna Laura. Laura Laurent. Yes. So they look at each other intently. Shock that he is open up to her. Yeah, because they are all names. He 
ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಇದೆ ಇಬ್ರು ಒಂದೇ ಜಾಗದಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಇವನು ಒಂದು ವುಮನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಲಾರ ಶಾಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾಳೆ ಹೌ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಂಜ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೇಟನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಲಾರ ಲಾರೆಂಟಿ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೇಟನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವುಮನ್ I seem to see her as if she were before me now at that window with the red roses do you remember that window so gonzalo is saying that silver maiden or laura lorente she used to sit near a window um with the red roses on end part of that window and that beautiful woman now on end part of that window a window side la kurta idu red roses it kondu do you remember Laura entered. Yes, I remember. It was the window of her room. Our room. Nangu and Nangu did that. Our room and the window of the room. She spent many hours there. I mean, in my day. And in my day too. So, Nangu did not have a city in the house. Our room and our window did not have a time spent on the window. So, Laura and her head did not have a time on the window. She was ideal. fair as dewy jet black hair black eyes with an uncommonly sweet expression she seemed to cast radiance wherever she was her figure was beautiful perfect what forms of sovereign beauty god models in human clay she was a dream so who is he describing dot gonzalo is describing that silver maiden laura lorenti he is describing that woman he is saying she was fair as the lily she was idle with sweet expressions you know and she was so bright that wherever she went she could leave that radiance behind as to bright as the beautiful as the glow her figure was perfect and he says she was a dream or one of kanasina tara as to beautiful perfect all ಯಾರು ಲಾರ ಲಾರೆಂಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ದ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೇಟಿ ಅವಳನ್ನ ಇಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಗೊನ್ಸಾರು ಸೊ ಡಾನ್ ಲಾರ ಡಾನ್ ಡಾನ ಲಾರ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ನೌ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ ಲವ್ ಅಫೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಏನು ರಿವೀಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಗಂಜಾರು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನಲ್ಲ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ವೆಲೆನ್ಸಿಯಾ ಸಿಟಿಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ವಿಲ್ಲಾದಲ್ಲಿ ರೂಮ್ ಸೈಡಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಕೂರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅವಳನ್ನ ದ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೇಡನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅವಳ ಹೆಸರು ಲಾರ ಲಾರೆಂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವಳು ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಕನಸಿನ ಥರ ಸೊ ಸೂನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಗಂಜಾರು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಸರ್ ಇವಳು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಲಾರ ಅವಳ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ದಟ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ನಾವ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ದಟ್ ಲೇಡಿ ನಾವ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ next to you only or manasa nagutta idare ninge maatadta idara kanasu anta aa woman iga ninge pakkane kootidale so now the point here is laura is none other than dola lord Laura Laurenti, she was called as the silver maiden. Gonzalo uh, Astella described Martinonda, Laura Laurenti is none other than Donna Laura. So Laura had to be described as the silver maiden. Laura Laurenti, she was called as the silver maiden. Laura Laurenti, she was called as the silver maiden. Laura Laurenti, she was called as the silver maiden. Laura Laurenti, she was called as the silver maiden. So, this is the point that you have to do. That even though they have met in the park uh, at this age, they already knew each other way back in their youth. And when they were young, they were young. 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 And they were young. And they were young. Laura and Laura and Dan were so beautiful and explained. They were young. And they were young. And they were young. Laura and Laura and Dan were young. She is none other than Donna. ಲಾರ್ ಅವನು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋ ಈ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವುಮನ್ ಈಗ ಯ
Gandhi, whom that uh, Gonzalo's cousin had to hide. It is called people will kill him. So tapus kora tapus kora aur in matan hai or hai. You seem to know the story very well, and so do you. Laura had to tell okay. Or the love story in India, tumba chana gudde ra aagi da. Gonzalo had to tell nil mukuda. So our improvement in love story is to chana kehe kudu. Our improvement first of all. Uh, one point clear mind. Don Gonzalo Mate, Donna Gara, Father Nita Gilare, already seventy seven there. Ega would be Yaku to discuss one there. Laura Laurette, beautiful woman, Mate, Gonzalo cousin, love story discuss one there. Okay, even I lived in that city and um, in that villa, this woman, beautiful woman, lived and uh, Gonzalo had there. Our Yaku has the particular and a cousin. Na. अदे लाड़ा लाड़े और यंग एजी लाड़ा रियल नेम लाड़ा लाड़ा रियल नेम लाड़ा लारेटे आज डॉना लारा अद्वान रिवील नाने गंजारो है इनस्टे वाट शी डी से लारा लारेट इज वन आफ मई फ्रेंड सो रीति लव स्टोरी डिसक हाउ गंजारो कसिंग यूज टू गो बै दैट रूट Uh, throw a bouquet at Laura Laurenti, and then how uh, she gave it back, tossed it back uh, to him in the evening. This love story, Nadi Beka, the merchant Bandhu. They fight, cousin uh, Gonzalo's cousin and this merchant. They fight. He is bad, badly wounded. So now uh, he has no other choice but to escape. And what he does is he takes refuge in Gonzalo's house. इन गंजारो है स्टोरी नु कसिन इवनिष्ट सो फैट आदमे नन के बंद ने हेल्प कट रेफ्यूज नश्रय पड़ता फ्रम मै हम वेट से टू मैट हि रोट लारा मेनी लेटर्स सम आफ दम इन वर्स सो नो अंटली दे आर इंटरसेप्टेड बै अर पेरेन्ट्स नो आंसर केम Then in his spire, Gonzalo uh, joined army, went to Africa, and met a glorious death. So Iga Gonzalo prakara ena ipu on kasi nista patta nala nista patta. Then he escaped after the fight. He came to my home. From there he at last uh, went to Madrid. But a ali ena ipu he wrote many letters to Laura. Laura ne kumba letters bari thane, but All the letters were obstructed. Our parents even when they asked for letters, no, you didn't reach out to them. Bit little. So at last, thinking, okay, my daily love is lost. In our country, na naudu na nooda kaagala, meeta ka kaagala, na naudu fight for the other thing na naudu daily matan hai. Army join matan hai. Battle free the day he died, fighting, holding the flag of Spain. This is his cousin's story. So he died at the Gonzalo Hill. But then, what an atrocious life! What a wicked life! Uh, Gonzalo is to hear that the Laura is to live. In that sulu, ya to live that and there, she knew that that lover is none other than Don Gonzalo. Oh no, that cousin and that sulu are going to be hear that and there. But after that, we are going to hear that. गंजारो दैट लवर इज इज कसि गंजारो लवर आने कसिन डॉना लोरने लोरा लॉरेट बट हू अद नु फ्रेंड सुतर इबू दे आर्डिंग देर ईडेंटिटी दे आर् कंसीलिंग देर ईडेंटिटी एंड फ्रेमिंग अ स्टोरी आज इफ द लवर्स वर् हिस कसि एंड अर् फ्रेंड सो ना यू कंजारो इज स्टिल अलव बट हि लाइज दैट लॉरस 
lover died in a battlefield. It is alive because Gonzalo himself is the lover and he is still alive. So what happens next? What does uh, Laura react to this? Aurubhiku gota gota, Aurubhiku youngish lover Sure and the so this uh, the play continues and I will explain it to you in the next class. Thank you.